Thanks for watching Crokinaut Center as we have a, another match from the 2019 Excelling 8 Crokinaut Tournaments. Where we got uh, Roy Campbell, Andrew Hutchison, Connor Ryman, and Ron Langell. Campbell, Hutchison, and Ryman all sitting in the middle of the table right now in the uh, four player single standings. And Roy Campbell and Hutchison get off to a good start. Their opening 20s. Langell just short. Ryan with a chance to score a 20 here. He does. A little bit annoyed with himself, though. Uh, looked like as he uh, made the takeout there, giving Campbell an open 20 opportunity, which he made, along with Hutchinson. <laughs> Almost an identical uh, situation here. And now this time, Ryan gets the uh, 20 without the takeout, which uh, not only is he happy with, it looks like Hutchinson was uh, congratulating him for... Uh, <laughs> Not uh, removing that disc and uh, thus not giving Camel an opportunity to score another 20. <laughs> so Langell and Tuff already down two 20s to each player in this round. Ryman's in an okay spot here with the hammer. <laughs> Campbell trying to roll his shooter into the middle, loses it off the board. Langell going for the uh, ricochet here. Not quite the right line to get that 20. Let's see if Campbell goes. Ryan's looking at a 20 opportunity. I don't think there's an easy one here. Yeah, I don't think there was really one lined up where he could make a ricochet 20. Campbell's fall through attempt goes wide. And Hutchinson going for the long follow through. Lost the shooter. Ryan, I think, is going to be playing defense here, being that he has the hammer advantage. And the last shots for each player here. So Campbell's likely going to end up in third place here, or perhaps tied for second, tied for first, maybe. Hushin makes a takeout. I don't really think there's a spot where he could take that shot and not uh, leave his disc in a spot that wouldn't be taken out. So Ryman's going to get that hammer advantage to come in very nicely there. So he makes that final takeout and takes first place with uh, Campbell and Hudson tying for second. So Andrew Hudson made both of his opening 20s and to. Uh, Secure that second place finish in that first round, and he starts out the, the second round with a, another open 20 as well. Oh, very nice slice 20 there from Campbell. Real tough shot. So Ryan with two discs on the board this time, but no 20s to go along with it. Camel in a good spot with the hammer. Ryman trying to carve out a 20 there, just misses on the line. Campbell looking to collect on a touch 20 attempt here. Ooh, hits the peg on the way in. May not be too costly unless Hudson can uh, make a real thin slice 20 here. He's got to squeak around the peg, try to get this touch on the white disc. No, could not get it. I don't know if the line is quite there to pull that off. You can see it was really 
really having to stretch quite far to, to try to open up the angle there. Nice touch 20 there from Langel. Oh, and Ryman just short on the long ricochet there. Campbell takes advantage. So pretty solid spot here for Campbell. I think a nice hit and stick will pretty much leave Hutchinson with no chance to score a 20 on his final shot. Didn't get the hit and stick, but it also rebounded off the pegs in a way that uh, doesn't really leave a ricochet. So Hutchinson looks like he's analyzing. He's tied with Langell right now in 20, so it looks like he's trying to hide here on Langell. That's a pretty nice hide. So even if, I think Langell just mentioned, even if he misses this shot, Reinman's probably going to take off Hutchinson's disc, but Langell's able to take it off anyway. Although Reinman's just going to uh, make it so Hutchinson and uh, Langell end up tied. And Roy Campbell takes the, uh, takes the eight-point victory there. Hutchinson and Langell tie for second with Reinman in fourth. But yeah, just some interesting things about four-player singles there. You know, Hutchinson tries to tries to hide, and even if he got the mistake out of Langell, then Langell probably wouldn't have been punished for making the mistake. In the same way that he wasn't rewarded for correctly making the shot either, because it's likely that Ryman, whichever disc was left on the board, it's likely Ryman would have just knocked it off and then forced those two players to be tied uh, in their scores. So, oh, <laughs> fortuitous. Bounce off a couple of pegs there for Roy Campbell. Hutchinson responds again with another open 20. It's been very solid on those in this game. But yeah, just to, anyway, just to finish the thought, a uh, bit of an oddity with four-player singles. Sometimes uh, mistakes and uh, aren't punished, and uh, sometimes great shots aren't rewarded in the same way that you would see them uh, be treated in, in doubles and sort of regular singles. But definitely one thing that is rewarded is a lot of 20s. And a nice ricochet 20 there from Reinman. Campbell makes that open 20, drawing everybody level at two 20s each. Hutchinson with an extra shot, though, goes up an extra 20. Good response from Langell. Facing some pressure against the early lead he had built up in this round. A good string of 20s here. Hutchinson misses short. Opportunity for Langell to jump ahead. And he connects. Well, he does take it out, though, which... He left it on, right? Ryan would not have this opportunity for an open 20 response, which he makes. Now Camel misses short. Connects with the touch 20. So last shots for each player here. Lots of 20s scored in this round. Lanchel doesn't get the take out. Now, Ryman's got one of two discs to choose to take out. Goes for Landos does not connect on the takeout. Now, Campbell will go for Ryman's disc, going for the 20 here. Doesn't get it to fall. So, Andrew Hutchinson with a final shot here. If he can get a white and a purple off the board, or just get the white off the board, leave his red in the 15, then he'll... Uh, get the first place points in this round. It's interesting if he does nothing here, Campbell actually comes away with... Well, Cam Campbell's sitting ahead of Hutchinson right now with 25 points on the board. So Hutchinson ends up tied with Ryman for first place. Langell ends up in third, and uh, a disc... For Campbell is only enough uh, for him to finish fourth in the, uh, with the points there. So a lot of possible opportunities there, but uh, yeah, Hutchinson was definitely looking for a way to secure first place there, but did not move that Ryman disc enough. 
And another circumstance there where, where Ryman misses on his shot, but uh, it's followed up by a mistake from, from Roy Campbell. Um, I'm sure Roy Campbell was looking to take off Ryman's disc on his way to making a 20 on his final shot, but uh, missed it. Sort of gave Ryman an out and ended up tied in points with Hudson there. So Lando with the hammer this time. Still pushing for offense early in the round here. Ryman says he doesn't like any of the leaves here. That's a nice spot in front of a peg there. It's doubtful that disc is still there by the end of all these shots and a nice touch 20 there from Campbell. Giving him the lead. Hudson removes the Ryman disc. Now Ryman will lean across in front of the camera here going for the Ricochet 20. Unable to connect on it. Ooh, and Campbell loses the shooter there. Not really sure what happened on that one. Ryman could see a touch 20 here. Oh, gets it just to fall. Nicely done. Tying Campbell now at 220s. First defensive play there from Campbell. Although Hutchins is just, just going to take his disc off anyway. Langell, can he make the rebound 20 here? No. Rolls to the outside. So Ryman going for a ricochet 20 here. This would be a massive ricochet 20. Would probably mean he's going to finish first. No, just over top of the hole. And now Campbell, what can he do? Not much other than hope that uh, both Hutchinson and Langell don't take his disc off with their final shot. Probably wise of him to at least take off Ryman's disc so that he can at least guarantee that he's going to be uh, tied for first. And he does take it out. So Hutchinson now a chance also to draw level at 220s each if he can get the uh, takeout and the 20 on the shot. Be interesting if he can do that. No, I can't. I was going to say it'd be interesting if he could do that because then Landel would have an open 20 chance to also uh, make a four way tie for first. But it'll be Landel ends up uh, third in this round with Ryman and Campbell tying for first place.